and good morning good evening good afternoon traders and students all around the world this is FX passion broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex trading course 101 remember we are ending the beginner module today maybe next week and tomorrow we are not going to have the webinar everybody okay because we have the non-farm payroll trading event and I'm talking just about the Dukas copy webinar of course the private classes are going to be normally remember the three pillars we're trying to build a strategy and or a system that is easy for you to understand we're trying to understand risk management rules and the big one we're trying to learn how our psychology affects our trading and what do champion traders say? champion traders say I am not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis hello Salbakti, hello Akos, hello Christian, hello Miguel, hello Eni, hello Vincent, hello Giuseppe and Namaste Patak, how are you? Vincent Victor said that you are doing great so you are doing great Everybody remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice. The webinars are for the educational purposes only. And if you have questions or you want to send some homework, you can send it to the Gmail contact, to the Skype contact and or to the linked contact, LinkedIn contact. Okay, so that being said, let's dive to the live charts. Today's lesson is trading Japanese candlestick bullish and bearish candlestick formation in a channel, okay? Everybody, let's open EuroCAD, EuroCAD for our chart. EuroCAD, EuroCAD, EuroCAD for our chart. And remember, this lesson today, today it's an upgrade, okay? So, Eurocad for our chart. Okay. Who agrees that so far on Eurocad we have? I mean, we are just maybe you know, just maybe we are in a sideways channel, right? And this is going to be one. This is going to be the other. And maybe this is going to be the last one right but for the time being do we agree everybody that the market was making was bouncing right here 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 Santano hello everyone I've heard COVID situation in Brazil is not so impressive I hope you are doing well sir Santano and everybody else this is not the purpose and I'm not going to waste a lot of time watch watch go on Google and type London 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 real okay go on Google and type London real it's a censorship free platform and they're going to tell you everything okay there is a lot of bullshit going around there don't believe everything they say okay oh there are 30,000 dead in Brazil it's a lie it's a lie okay it's a lie nobody at least in my city okay nobody is dying from COVID nobody not even one okay so I'm not going to talk about COVID in here but go on the on Google and type London Real TV. Brian Rose is the owner, and he's going to explain with the doctors and the epidemiologists and the virologists. There is a lot of bull BS. Okay, I hope YouTube <laughs> doesn't censor censor me telling, but there is a lot of BS, everybody, going out there. Either way, Santana, thank you. We are norm. We are living a normal life, you know okay Vincent last night I was not here but I got ripple last night video I heard that yes Vincent Victor said that you are doing great Miguel says sideways Akos I know him great 
Right, sir. Okay, everybody. So, remember what we have learned so far. We have learned so far a few things about this sideways channel before we are going to move to the candlestick formations. We learned about that the sideways channel, the consolidation, sooner or later is going to end. Right? This is one. We learned about that the market can do anything it wants. Meaning, even though the sideways channel is a part of an uptrend, everybody, even though the sideways channel is a, is a part of an uptrend, nonetheless, the market can do anything it wants. Right? Because we are talking about high probability trades, technically speaking, which trades have higher degree of risk, which trades have less technical risk. And we said, oh, in an uptrend, in an up structure, buy the band. This, you can buy and sell, but if we talk about technical risk, the buys have less technical risk than the, the, than the, the sales, right? Because we're in an uptrend and we have an up structure, and the higher time frame control the smaller time frame but nonetheless the market can do anything it wants so it can break down Patak no COVID please <laughs> great <laughs> yeah everybody I'm sick and tired too you know it's every day every day every day every day every day okay but I'm going to tell you something that I believe and based on my information and then we're going to stop talking about COVID. I'm sick and tired also, don't worry. Okay? Coronavirus does not kill. Okay? Just remember this. Oh, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. Okay? This is what I believe based on what I researched. But each and every one needs to take care of each and every one, right? So, Patak, I agree with you. I'm sick and tired too, okay? Okay, right, so how, how we are going to use the bullish and bearish candlestick formation? So, this lesson here is an upgrade, okay? If the market is... Everybody, what do you think? If the market is sideways in a channel and the market is in the middle of the range can we enter can we buy the market in here what what would you say what would you say everybody is it wise to buy the market or short on the other side if we are in the middle of the range <coughs> Miguel, don't worry, my friend. I know that everybody has different opinions, you know. Don't worry, Miguel. I respect every opinion. Okay. Aqua says, no, stay away. No. Seems low probability. This trade the smaller time frame. Vincent, no. KJ, why would you trade a smaller time frame? KJ, why would why would you trade a smaller time frame? Isn't it logical that if the sideways channel is on the four hour chart and that I'm going to trade the four hour chart? Or should I jump to the two-hour chart? Patak says no. Okay, everybody, so this is the upgrade today. Now, where and how we are going to do and use the can candlestick formations? Of course, we are going to enter as a part of a strategy candlestick formations when we want when we are going to buy we are going to look to buy bullish candlestick formations and we are going to sell 
we are going to sell bearish candlestick formations because the range may go on for a long time okay but what about risk reward hi everyone sorry I'm late today no problem don't worry what about risk reward KJ does the risk reward change does the risk reward change if you go from the 4 hour chart to the 1 hour chart what do you think everybody ok so on the sideways channel we are going to sell bearish candlestick formations and we are going to buy bullish candlestick formation now today is an upgrade ok so from today you are going to learn that the answer is yes you can also and KJ is go, KJ is getting there you can also buy in the middle of the range ok you can also buy in the middle of the range now where is the trick everybody you must go as KJ said you must go on the lower time frame ok you must go on the lower time frame but not any time frame you must go on the lower time frame where you can spot a trend so if you jump for the 4 hour chart to the 1 hour chart you will not spot a trend everybody you will not see an uptrend or an a downtrend ok you will not see an uptrend and or a downtrend but when you go on the smaller time frame and we are going to do this in about a few minutes I don't know I need to check right maybe it's the 15 minute chart maybe it's the 5 minute chart I don't know so when you spot a trend then you can re-enter buying or selling the relative candlestick formations which we did in the last five webinars so when you spot an uptrend just buy the bullish candlestick formations and when you spot a downtrend in a sideways channel just short bearish candlestick formations does this make sense to you everybody if the answer is no please type in the chat no passion this not this not make sense to me I'm sorry no problem we are here to talk does this make sense to you everybody hello VA sir how are you and yes today in the end we are going to talk about uh, different stuff how we can help you yes it makes sense yes 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 okay great so what we are going to do everybody let's say that we are here okay let's take just today so we are here and we're going to drop a vertical line and we're going to go on the 15 minute chart let's see what is going to happen where is the vertical line okay so this is the 15 minute chart right now can you see an up the uptrend of the 15 minute chart everybody just an example you can do this you can apply this concept to every time frame and every currency pair okay now can we spot can we see an uptrend everybody yes hello Victor how are you so we have an uptrend and we can draw an uptrend line right uptrend line something like this okay and we are going to extend now there is one thing everybody you cannot trade the 15 minute chart with the risk reward from the 4 hour chart what we can do everybody is <clears throat> we can scalp 
okay so if we if we have uh, if we are on the four hour chart like this and we are entering at the in the middle of the range or whatever you know so this would be the risk right and the, re the reward would be up so you cannot translate this everybody to the 15 minute chart okay because if we are going to enter with the bullish candlestick formation and the market can wave in any way then we are going yes you can reject this everybody no problem you can reject okay you can reject what we're teaching you you can go with the big risk no problem but I'm telling you the market can do anything it wants when it wants so if you would ask me if I'm going to buy bullish candlestick formation inside the 4 hour time frame inside the 4 hour consolidation I would go on the 15 minute char chart try to spot a trend okay and trade and scalp and I'm going to scalp not the profit everybody I'm going to scalp just with the stop loss okay so let's do this exercise let's see how it's going to go okay now down 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 up okay we are here this trend line stays like this okay is this a bullish candlestick formation everybody what would you say the last candle the white one or the last two candles the blue one and the white one what what would you say is this a bullish candlestick formation and don't be shy everybody there is no right or wrong you can say yes it is you can say no it's not you know Christian says yes okay so I'm going to enter here everybody this is my entry okay this is my entry my stop loss goes a few pips below the candlestick formation and my take profit everybody goes on the four hour sideways so let's make it like this today okay okay I'm going to do clone chart and let's go on the 4 hour chart and do something like this okay so I have my entry I have my entry okay which is here and my take profit is going to be a few pips in front of the sideways channel okay and yes we have different trade management techniques cancel and replace if you want or you go with some indicators or you go with the trend lines okay not a problem but when you trade the sideways channel passion can I scalp one for one absolutely yes there is no right or wrong everybody okay so this would be this would be my scalp okay now what I'm doing I'm entering as a scalper okay but as a take profit I'm using the sideways strategy okay so on the right side you see the 4 hour chart okay So this is the risk and up in here this is the reward and if I'm going to lose everybody what, what should I think if my entry doesn't work because I, I'm on the 15 minute chart what should I think should I think it's okay should I think no problem What, what should I think I should think everybody if the market is going to continue to go sideways right 
and we were talking about losing trades yesterday one two three four five six in a row okay yes we should think well it's only one trade but what if I am going to lose one two three four five trade next formation it's okay but you didn't enter in the middle of the channel we are going to enter Christian just give it time we are going to enter also in the middle of the channel KJ enter the position again okay so let's see how this is going to play out this is one going up going up going up going up going up so one for one already in profit going up going up going up okay going up okay now we have a bearish candle retracement okay is this a bullish candlestick formation everybody is this a bullish candlestick formation the last two the blue and the white and we're, we are at what level 1.51 1.51 Christian now we are in the middle of the range consider a different <laughs> occupation <laughs> this is a great one change your strategy everybody why would you change your strategy what is wrong with this strategy everybody just because you lose one two three times doesn't necessarily mean that your strategy is wrong maybe you are positioned in the wrong direction not that your strategy is not working yes Eddington is amazing yes it is yes sir okay so I'm going to enter here and okay Christian now we are in the middle of the range so this is going to be my buy clone this is going to be my stop loss right let's see how this is going to play out okay sideways bam I just lost right because on the four hour chart we are not going to see it, but on the four hour chart we are here right and this is the problem everybody when you do like something like this and it's normal what does the beginner trader do the beginner trader is going to lose this trade and is going to close the previous trade right because why why is that because i'm afraid right now i'm afraid oh i lost on the second entry you know oh the market is going against me so maybe it's better for me to pocket the profits right so i lost one but i'm still in the profit because even though i lost the second one my profit from the first one is bigger so I'm still in the money right okay and again there is no right or wrong you can exit both you can just take take the losing trade and let your winner run it's up to you everybody okay but we're going to continue so the market is moving down okay so this is I, I was stopped out on the second one and I'm going to try to enter on the next opportunity okay and who would like to enter in here counter trend line break everybody who would like to enter this is maybe not not the best one right because it's not a candlestick formation maybe this is a candlestick formation again not the best one one two three blue blue white right don't you need to check the four hour time frame for the bullish candlestick formation when you enter there great question time to shine everybody what do you think <clears throat> 
great question time to shine everybody every day we are telling you before you enter the market you must check the higher time frame before you enter the market you must check the higher time frame before you enter the market you must check the higher time frame right and now time to shine is seeing this webinar it's saying but wait a second he's not checking the higher time frame and time to shine is saying don't you need to check the four hour time frame for the bullish candlestick formation when you enter there great question what is the answer everybody what is the answer VA says of course I'm thinking yes but you didn't check it anybody else everybody's quiet <laughs> you know it's a tricky question yes you must check the higher time frame everybody else no confirmation time frame is not for our time frame anymore yes you have to do so KJ if the 4 hour time frame is not the confirmation time frame what time frame is the confirmation time frame we are going for the small time frame because the market is ranging yes sir what what small time frame Salbakti, absolutely. Yes, but from there we start looking the chart first. Okay, everybody, surprise for you. No, in this case, you don't need to check the higher time. You can, okay? Not, not, not that you, you can't. Daily, no, sir, no. The daily has nothing to do with this. He's a scalper everybody why don't you you can do it okay but why you don't need to check the higher time frame when you go on the smaller time frame in this example thank you time to shine this strategy right now this is the exception to the rules okay because we saw the sideways movement on the four hour chart but be, because we didn't see the trend you know, if you check the 4 hour chart, where is the trend? Whoops. Where are we? Not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. Okay, there you go. Here we are. Okay. If you check the 4 hour chart, where is the trend? Between the between the two bands, right? From low from the lower band to the low, to the higher band where is the trend everybody because we are scalping so no need no everybody it's not because we are scalping is because we cannot see the trend on the four hour chart this is the reason not because we are scalping maybe two hour one hour confirmation trading at 15 minute chart you can do this everybody okay let's write this down okay oh I don't check anymore because passion said that so in this particular strategy you can but you also don't need to check the higher higher time frame okay in this particular strategy you can you can check no problem but you also don't need to and error check the higher time frame why not because the reason everybody is we went on the 15 minute chart because we try to find the trend this is the reason okay no the reason is not scalping no sir the reason is not scalping I can swing trade the 15 minute chart okay 
Yes, okay, no problem. You can reject what we are teaching you. You say, oh no, it's because it's scalping. I'm telling you, the reason is not because of scalping. Because if you think that the reason is scalping, then as a scalper you would think, oh, I don't need to check anything. And this is not true. Boss on the 4 hour trend line also broke. I know, but I'm talking to you. Do you see a trend on the 4 hour chart? So when you're trading the 15 minute time frame, you don't need confirmation from the 4 hour time frame that you have a bullish candlestick formation. At the same point, you want to enter on the 15 minute chart. Just checking. The answer is no. Great question. So everybody, thank you, time to shine. Okay? So when you enter in here, then you should check the formation. When you enter down here, you should check the formation. Right? But when you enter in the middle, you can, but you don't need to because if, I, if I'm checking here, everybody, you know, if I'm checking here, you know, if I'm checking the four hour, the four hour candle, I'm going to lose the entry. Just an example, you know. Or if I'm going to check on this one, I'm going to lose the entry again. And the more the market is going to push up, and I want to enter in the middle of the range, and I can enter with the bullish candlestick formation on the 15 minute chart, trading the uptrend. This is what you must understand everybody. On the 15 minute chart, I'm not trading the sideways channel. I'm not trading consolidation, but on the 15 minute chart, I'm trading the uptrend. I see why, because it is already trending with the bands. Yes, sir. This is why you can check, but you don't need to. If you're going to wait for the confirmation, everybody, your trade has gone. Does this, does this make sense to you? everybody and we can do a test right so this is the 15 minute chart right this is the 15 minute chart where is the first trade the second trade first trade second trade oh third trade right so we were here first rate second rate third rate okay so I'm going to put a horizontal line here and I'm going to jump on the one hour chart. Let's see what is, is going to happen. One hour chart is four candles on the 15 minute chart. So let's go back on the 15 minute chart. Four candles, one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. So this would be the starting point of the one hour candle and this would be the ending point of the one hour, hour candle okay so yes if you if you would check everybody the one hour candle the one hour candle would be bearish and you would not enter okay and if you if you would check the one hour candle well maybe you would enter here but I'm telling you what is going to change, the risk reward is going to change. And many times if you are going to have a big candle on the one hour like this one, of course this is bearish but let's say that it's bullish, you are going to miss the entry. Okay, so you can do this, it's up to you, but just remember you don't need to. Okay, so we're going to go back on the 15 minute chart. So we won one, we lose one. Now we have a counter trendline break, so we would enter again, right? Clone, 
we would enter here somewhere or up in here it doesn't matter better up in here and the stop loss would go here so we have another trade where are we bye 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 okay so this is another trade and our entry is at 1513 1513 1.5 1 3 5 okay somewhere in here so this was our first entry right and this was our second entry take profit it's always in the same level okay this is our entry on the 4 hour chart everybody and our stop loss would be here and our stop loss would be here so we are going to take the stop loss on the candlestick formations and we are going to possibly let run to the upper band can we trade the one hour time frame like this is or only really 15 time to shine the answer is you should trade the time frame where you can see the trend okay so let's check the one hour chart one hour chart if you can spot a trend on the one hour chart time to shine then you can do this absolutely and okay today we had the uh, news from the Europe from Europe you know Europe Central Bank okay but most likely if you go with the with the one hour chart and you are here right this is not a trend yet you know where would you enter so to spot a trend minimum two higher high two highs and two lows you know to spot a trend on the one hour chart so low to high high to low low to high so you would enter from not a high okay so here you would start entering you would enter one point five one six so you would enter time to shine if you compare the 15 minute chart on the 15 minute chart you would have three entries already and you would have only one on the one hour chart passion sorry to interrupt you said yesterday you may have something to help us what is it i'm going to sell you at the end of the lesson okay You are different traders everybody, different students and you have different goals and different needs and different aspirations and different dreams. Okay? So time to time I talk to other hedge funds, you know, investment banks, proprietary trading firms and other traders also and time to time they have some news for me they ask something so we are trying to help you in one way or another but this is we are going to talk about this in the end the last five minutes maybe i don't know okay time to shine can you see the difference there is no right or wrong everybody you can do this on the one hour chart i would say i would go on the 15 minute chart because you can spot the trend faster now you can check the candlestick formation before you enter on the 50 minute chart but you also don't need to it's up to you everybody okay next so one two three let's see going up going up kind of sideways down down okay so we have another one right counter trend line break 
with this kind of bullish engulfing, not the perfect one. Everybody, scalpers, is this a bullish candlestick formation? One, two, three, four, the last four candles. What would you say? Is this a bullish candlestick formation? This awesome upgrade on trading the sideways channel. Thank you, time to shine. Yes, it is. But you need to learn the concepts and everything, you know. Ako says no. Why not? Akos, don't tell me bearish pressure, please. Don't tell me, Akos, oh, it's bearish pressure. You can say everything but not bearish pressure. Because it's not. No, weak too big. What about the body? Morning star. Everybody, is this a bullish candlestick formation? Remember, the picture is one. The live market is something different. What do you think? Chris says yes. Akos and any, why not? Engulfing. Akos and any, you, you are saying no, this is not. Why not? Has a big week, yes, but so what? What what about the body? The week is important, yes sir, but also the body is important. So you have a big week on the upside, what about the body? Very long upper week, so what? I'm telling you everybody, if you are going to challenge me with the week, I'm going to challenge you with the body. You say, okay, there is a big week, yes, it, what about the body? The body engulfed the previous three candles. So who wins? Does, is the body going to win or is the week going to win? Everybody. What do you think? Morning star. Everybody, this is not the perfect one, but this is the bullish engulfing candle. Both very difficult to decide on the base of one candle. I'm with Akos and any the week indicates rejection. I'm in doubt. Everybody, this is a bullish engulfing candle. Okay. The week. The week. The week is not bearish, everybody. Boy is more important. The week is not bearish, this week is bullish. You must understand everybody. Okay. When you see this type of candle in an uptrend, this type of candle is bullish. But when you see this type of candle in a downtrend, then yes, this candle is bearish. Okay, Aquas and everybody who are who are worried about the week, you need to understand that candlesticks are not all the same everywhere. So this candle, positioned like this, in an uptrend, is bullish. But if you are going to see this type of candle in a downtrend, then yes, it's going to be bearish. Why is that? Well, because the market went up, 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 made a new higher high. This is the logic behind the why. Why is this candle bullish? Because the market went up, up, up and made a higher high. This is why this is a bullish candle, not bearish. Okay? So we're going to enter again this is going to be our clone this is going to be our entry and maybe we are wrong right doesn't matter we are in the sideways movement sideways channel let's see 
sideways, down, up, up again, right? So as you can see everybody, for everybody who is thinking, oh this is bearish pressure, this is a bearish week, well, then why did the market went up? And what's the problem here? You can t you can read three books, everybody, <clears throat> and you are going to have three different explanation about the same candle. But I'm telling you, in an uptrend, this is bullish. In a downtrend, the same candle is going to be bearish. So let's see how many trades did we enter so far. Uptrend one two we lost the the first we, we lost the first one now we won the first one we lost the second one we won the third one <clears throat> and we entered in the fourth one right and as you can see everybody if we would not manage the trade we would we would have lost right because the market went up and then reversed and then up again okay we would not be stopped out on the second one but as as i told you we are going to talk about a few things right now so what what is the suggestion just continue to trade enter 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 stop loss below the candlestick formation or above the candlestick formation and the take profit at the upper band and of course this was the news release here. This is where many people reverse their position just because of thinking this candle is bearish and oh it's reversing. Yes sir. I agree with you. Yes sir. Okay everybody let's talk about how we can help you. Okay how we can help you number one you already know so if you want to accelerate your learning of the forex course 101 you can take private classes okay oh let me see if this is if you want to learn ta -da -da. okay no this is not the picture everybody i need to check the other one just give me a second